Is the Frico in here? Of course. So let's make the Frico. You wanna make Frico? Yeah. Alright, fai la patata. Tu fai la patata. Sto facendo la patata. Eh. Frico. Frico. Is the most typical dish of Friuli Venezia Giulia. You know where Friuli is, right? I do. It's in the upper right armpit of Italy, above Venice, south of Austria. It is. The biggest city is Trieste. It has 300,000 inhabitants. The second oh, biggest is wow. Udine. With 100,000. You did your homework. <laughs> That's impressive. Frico stands at Friuli Venezia Giulia like Mitlof stands at America. See, but I don't think Does that Mitlof make does. sense? Yeah, it does. But does where's Mitlof from? No, it doesn't really. I don't know. Everybody makes Mitlof at home. That's like 1970s America, I feel like everyone makes Mitlof at home. I know, because you live in New York too long. Onions and potatoes were always the cheapest and the easiest thing to grow. You and know? no animals eat it either because it's underground. Exactly. Then there was the cheese. My mother's family, they used to have a cow in the backyard and they would milk the cow. Okay. And then my mother with the bicycle would turn it into. Would bring. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were <laughs> She was <laughs> making cheese. No. <laughs> no. Right, right now we use Montasio cheese because it's the most typical cheese of Friuli Venezia Giulia. I understand. Okay. Sometimes when I explain Frico, I say that it's almost like a frittata. At the end, when it's done, it looks like a frittata. And also the process to making a little salt. And this is the only time I'm going to put salt. Montasio is not the easiest cheese to find. You know, we it live wasn't. in New York City, so we are lucky. We can add the water so we don't stay here 25 hours. And that's gonna help it and soften it down. But it's the traditional way to stay 25 hours, right? It is. You don't burn them, you don't caramelize them. Do you want these brown or is this yeah, soft yeah, like this? Yeah, they need to be brown. No, no, they need to be brown. Okay, so and I'm... only one side and then you take them off. Because ah, okay. I want them to finish to cook. All right, with, and with you wanna onions. have a varying texture. Yes. Are no, you ready? Not yet. not yet. No, my onions are not ready. Are you ready for the potato? No, we need to <laughs> cut the cheese. You know what cut the cheese is in English, right? It's cut the cheese? It's an idiomatic expression. To say what? Fart. Really? Yeah, who cut the cheese is who farted. Oh yeah? Yeah, man. So I cut the cheese in cubes. So this way you get little pockets of cheese. No, it's gonna melt. It'll melt, it's but they'll melt. still stay sort of dense in certain areas, right? Yes. 60% onions and potatoes. Okay, 40% cheese. 40% is cheese. And it's a mixture of cheeses you like to It's make. a mixture of cheeses, yes. Because you like the different flavors and you like them to melt at different rates. Yes. No, am I just saying things? No, no, it's correct. Okay, put it in. You should have the same quantity of uh, onion and potatoes. This is what I like the most about Frico. This is my favorite part. You want to mix everything together, okay? So you saw I didn't touch it the first couple of minutes because I want the cheese to start melting. The cheese will release as much as oil as possible. So this is how it forms the crust. The oil's coming up and out, it's drying on the bottom, and then the crust will start to form. When, when is this eaten in a Friulano meal? Is it at the beginning, is it at the end? Because it's heavy, it's Yeah, dense. this is usually the, like the main course. So what you would do at home, Yeah. you would do in a big pot, okay. right? And then it comes out like a pie, then you cut it in slices. And most likely you have it with polenta. Yeah. Because it's so rich that's though. That's so heavy. Polenta and frico? Yeah, but that's what our, our cuisine is made of. It's cold weather, yeah. work the fields. Yeah. You need something that gives you energy, right? You see? Yeah, it looks good though. That's the way you want it, okay. So this is my trick of the didn't come out. Here you are. I suggest to do this on top of the sink. El, el, el trucco del coperchio, okay? You gotta do it fast you're gonna get the oil coming down. Now you're just gonna make the crust on the other side. And then you just put it on the stove and you make the same crust again. I wanna try this. So yeah. this is, this is the... So this is done. That's it? Yeah. Because it's important that you put it in the cutting board to rest. Okay. So... This makes it harden a little so you can cut it. Exactly. It's gonna give them a nice shape and then we wait, like five minutes. The best thing that could happen to me is decide to come and live in, in, in America. I was blessed to be able to stay in America for a long time and actually build a sort of a future, you know? I found my wife, now we have a baby, we have a family, but 
personally, you know, I didn't even finish high school. So Bravo. life in Italy was not gonna look very, very well, you know. We could have waited like two minutes more, but this is close enough. Look how cute it is. <laughs> smells fantastic. It does. Right? Really, really nutty, especially now that I'm closer to it. There's nothing better than fried onion and potato. It's your first time? This is my first time. Your life is gonna change so much. You know, every time I go in restaurants in Italy, it can be any type of restaurant in Friuli, yeah. I always have to add Frico. Also because I learn different things how people make it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, man. The Nutty. potato yeah, potato's is good. what gives you I understand. the different level of textures. Otherwise, it is still super flavorful, but it's going to have just a mushy, you know, texture. The onions almost disappear, but not really. Yeah. They're the most subtle flavor, because you didn't caramelize them. That adds so much. I like the potato But you understand like why you need polenta now? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is not leftover. I know you want to keep this and put it on the fridge for tomorrow. No way, I'm going to make it fresh. It doesn't keep, don't you know that? <laughs> well. That's good, Luca. Thank That's you. That's good, thank you. All right. Now, give me the hand. Oh, Rico, Rico.